Hello, my name is Johanna, and today I want to talk about my experience with ketamine therapy for treatment-resistant depression. I want to take you through my journey. I've had six infusions, and I want to walk you through what my results were after each infusion. I'll start with where I was before beginning my ketamine therapy. I had no interest in anything. I dreaded every single day. I was smoking weed multiple times a day to try to numb myself. I was going through the motions like a robot without any real desire or interest in what I was doing and everything felt like a chore. I was isolated and had no desire to connect with anybody. All in all, I didn't want to be here anymore is what I felt like. I felt like purposeless and I felt directionless and just no desire to live my life. After my first infusion, I was able to tap into gratitude. Gratitude for my family, gratitude for my home, gratitude for the simple things that, that um, I was not able to appreciate before about my daily life. That sense of hopelessness was replaced with a sense of possibility. There was this hope and this sense of, oh, Things are, it's possible for me to build a new life. I began feeling motivated to meditate again, which was something I couldn't do before my ketamine therapy. I just, I couldn't sit down and focus long enough to, to meditate. I just, I had no, um, no drive. The changes were subtle, but important. After my second infusion, I started to feel resentments that I had long held were starting to fall away. I started to feel a desire to connect with people again, remembering the joy that relationships, that friendship bring. And I found myself entertaining negative thoughts a little bit less. I was starting to become more the observer of the thoughts rather than being overcome by them. And I also started to feel that my daily tasks were becoming a little bit easier to do. It's not like I had all this motivation where I like really wanted to do things, but it wasn't so heavy to do those things. It felt more manageable. After my third infusion, I was able to make amends to someone who I hadn't spoken to in seven years. And that's when I really started to feel that this was working for me. And I really started to be encouraged by the progress. And I will say that the only reason I was able to really notice the progress I was making was because I was journaling every single session. I was journaling before my sessions. I was journaling after my sessions. But otherwise, I would have missed so much of my progress because it feels subtle. It doesn't feel like this huge, or, or you know what, everybody's different. So I'm not even going to say it doesn't feel or what it shouldn't feel like for you because I know that there have been people that have had kind of like a light bulb moment. For me, it wasn't like that. For me, the changes were subtle, but again, just important changes that made a difference in my daily life. After that third infusion, I also noticed that I had less of a desire to smoke. I wasn't feeling that need to kind of numb myself with, with weed. I just felt like, like I didn't need it so much anymore. I felt a desire to start to build a new life for myself. I didn't know what that new life was going to look like yet, but even just the desire was enough for me to feel encouraged because I went from not wanting to do life, just not interested in my life and living my life, to then going to a place of, you know what, maybe I can build a happy life for myself. My fourth infusion remains my favorite one yet. It was just a powerful session for me. My fourth infusion felt like a coming home of sorts. I felt like I was coming home to myself, like I was remembering who I was outside of my depression. A desire to connect with my family started to, to come about. I started to recognize the lies that my depression had been telling me. I started to recognize them as lies, not as truth anymore. I started to kind of separate myself from the negative thoughts that were going on in my mind. After my fifth infusion, I started to feel a little bit more clear on the root cause of my depression, which for me was lack of purpose and lack of direction. 
I started to feel that my purpose is to encourage others, to help others who are also in my shoes, who also struggle with depression. I felt a sense of peace, like I can trust the process rather than trying to see the whole staircase. I was okay with taking one step at a time and not seeing the full picture for what my life was to, was to become. I started to feel okay with just taking one step at a time. After my sixth infusion, I felt like I had a little bit more direction. I felt like it was time to come on here on YouTube and share my journey, my healing journey, my journey with ketamine, my journey with depression. I realized I do have something to share and that I wanna share it, that I wanna connect with other people who are in my shoes. My desire to help people returned insecurities about how I would look or how I would sound started to fall away because connecting with other people started to become just more important. My fear of judgment started to fall away because I just realized it wasn't as important. It's been about a week since my last infusion and I am still feeling motivated. I'm still feeling a lot better than I was before I began. I have more energy. I have more interest in things. I'm finding myself more interested in reading again, in journaling. I've even registered to, to go back to college. I'm starting to feel like myself again. I have a desire to live my life. Connecting with people feels good again. And so my depression just feels more manageable. It doesn't feel like I'm drowning in it anymore. For someone who's looking to start their ketamine therapy, I would say my advice is to journal the whole way because you can so easily miss your own progress. You can so easily miss the things that are starting to work for you. Had I not written down my experience session after session, I might have missed that, you know, I would have noticed the big things like the fact that I made amends with someone who I hadn't spoken to in so long, but I would have missed little things like the fact that my negative thoughts weren't being weren't taking over me as much anymore, that I was becoming the observer and not living in them. I think it's important to couple it with talk therapy to help integrate the new things, the new insights that you've had. I want to note that I am still very much at the beginning of my process. I will continue to come on here to document my journey and how I'm feeling in the coming weeks and what else I'm doing to help myself feel better. But in terms of trying ketamine for yourself, I would say, remember it's not a magic pill, but what it does do is it gives you a boost to be able to put in the work to get yourself in a better feeling space. I know for me, when I am heavily depressed, putting in the work feels impossible. It feels like I can't get past myself. And that's what ketamine did for me is it gave me that boost to get past myself just enough to then go ahead and put in that work. So if you're looking to try ketamine for yourself, I hope you find this video helpful. If you have tried ketamine, I would love to hear what your experience has been like. That's all I got for today. Thanks for watching.